Hey there everyone, welcome back to the workshop and another episode and thanks for joining me today. And I mentioned in the last video that I was setting up a small little pedal board, doing a small pedal board setup for my acoustic shows and I wanted to kind of bring you along. I've got it here over on the bench and thought I'd just show you what I've got set up and maybe if you're a, a guitar player and you're doing acoustic things maybe this will help you out and uh, just kind of walk you through what I got and all of that so without further ado I'm gonna switch you to the overhead camera here and show you what I got so here we go I've got um, this small bought this actually this small pedal board it's actually made by and I'm apologize there actually let me s turn this around for a second and so you can maybe see it there it's the made by Behringer and it's the PB 600 and I bought this several years ago I, I bought this for my son my son is uh, he plays electric guitar. He's actually played on a couple of my videos, demoing some stuff that uh, that I've worked on and all of that. So, uh, but he's actually the guitar player. Um, I play acoustic guitar, and I would say just enough to uh, be able to sing by, and and that's about it. But anyway, I I do acoustic shows, and I play once twice a month something like that and as I said in the last video I'm just trying to do some things that will make my life a little bit easier and so this is what I wanted to bring you along for uh, just kind of show you this little setup here and you notice here I've got some velcro that's because these um, clips that hold this thing closed can you see that this one still works sort of kind of but this one Excuse me, this one somewhere along the way got broken, so no idea on that. So I'm not going to rely on that. I put some Velcro, I some self-stick, uh, you know, that adhesive back Velcro, and then just put these straps on the top to go over the top there to keep it closed. So let me go ahead. I'm going to bust this open so you can see what I got inside here. I'll take the cover off. don't want stuff falling out on the ground and I knew I would open it the wrong way anyway gonna spin it around for you so there we go oh I'm show you what I got so when I walk in to set up basically what I can do is take this board and plug in just a few cords and cables and be ready to go so let me walk you through this here. Um, show you what I got. And we'll kind of do a, a left to right thing here. And let me go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. So I've just got the 9 volt power there that goes to this pedal board has uh, power that goes to it. It also has inputs, outputs, uh, input to effects but I'm not using any of that because uh, I, I just use a very simple setup for my acoustic stuff now I mentioned and for those of you who haven't watched the last video uh, I use typically use three guitars and so I have this Morley ABC switch and now that we're plugged in I don't know if the camera is going to pick up but there's an LED, there's a light here for A, B, and C. And the power here, this box, nice thing about this box is uh, this box will work without power. Uh, so, you know, if you have one of these boxes, you can actually hook it up and it'll work without being plugged in, without a battery or anything. The only thing the power does is uh, let you use the lights, which I find handy because I know which 
because these will actually work. All three of them can be on at once. Uh, two of them on, one of them on. I mean, they're they work independently. It's not an either or kind of thing. Uh, it's not A or B or C. You can have all three of them. Uh, so anyway, I like the light because it tells me okay if I if I'm using my first guitar which is plugged into A, and I hit the button, I see the light on. Now that guitar is off. Now the next guitar is on or off next guitar is on and off so typically what I do I put my main guitar that I'm using which is a you know six string acoustic um, at, at regular tuning normal tuning standard tuning if you want to call it that and that'll be my primary guitar that'll be on a and then I I usually take another guitar that's uh, it's either tuned down or uh, tuned to an open G or something like that and that'll be on B and then I have a 12 string that I take and that's on C and I've got the cables I'll show you these in just a second uh, I've got the cables and I'm using this little management track here for that I'll pop the cover and let you look at that as well maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see but out of the I come out of the three-way so here's my guitar, so all I have to do is take these three cables, I have them labeled on the other end, A, B, and C, so I know which one is which, which one to plug into which guitar. So I take these cables, plug in my guitar, I take this other cable, run it to the soundboard, and I am ready to go. But I'll talk a little more about the cables in just a second. Let me just show you what a very simple setup, again, very, very simple because uh, I just like to produce the acoustic sound, reproduce over the PA, the acoustic sound of the guitar. So I come out of the three-way and this is a tuning pedal, uh, just a little tuner pedal. It's made by Ibanez. It's called the Big Mini um, and I've got that plugged from the three-way and the way this works the inputs go this way um, so I kind of have the cable run around to the inside here and these are just quarter inch jumper cables and run to the tuner uh, the tuner isolates so as soon as you hit the button and turn on the tuner now you've isolated everything on this side so there's nothing going to be going out to my soundboard for people to hear over the the PA speakers so this kills that signal while I'm tuning and then when I'm done turn the tuner off and the signal is is back the way it needs to be so I come out of this and then come out of the tuner so that's the output for the tuner and that runs over to uh, this is a Fishman Platinum Stage uh, preamp and it runs on a 48 volt uh, phantom power which is why I don't have a 9 volt or anything hooked up to it I use a, a microphone cord an XLR cable back to the soundboard and it draws power across that uh, across the phantom power so that's all my setup right there um, you end what I end up with is a very nice representation of the acoustic sound of the guitars so uh, it, it works um, it, it works really well for me and uh, I, I like that sound you know if you had another kind of uh, acoustic pedal or something you could definitely add that to the mix if, if that's your preference but that's really I mean I like the the very the, to hear just the the tone of the acoustic guitar coming through in, in my set so that's why I have, I'm set up the way I am all right so let's talk a little bit about uh, just the cables these are just quarter inch instrument cables and you can see these are straight on this end um, and then on the other end these are angled and I like to use angled cables where these plug into the instruments and that way you don't take a chance on uh, if you know you just don't take a chance on anything uh, really getting broken uh, that way and what I've done let me see if I can have the camera maybe pick that up as I've marked this one says a on it which corresponds to a down here so I know once I grab this cable this goes to the guitar that I want to run off of a 
and then I just have three of these. So there's A, that's B, and then C. Again, very trying to keep it very simple. Um, you know, basically plug and go and, and start playing. So that's what I'm going for. So those are the three cables there. And again, I've got the XLR plugged into the Fishman Platinum, uh, the XLR, and I've got it run through this cable. I'm going to pop these covers off here right now. But this is just a standard uh, microphone type XLR cord that runs for that. So let me pop these off, and hopefully these cables don't jump out everywhere. But these thumb screws just tighten. Um, I mean, you can tighten them with a screwdriver. I just don't, because if I want to take it off, it makes it easy just to be able to unscrew them. And I'll show, kind of show you what I did in running the power and as well as the quarter inch stuff. Uh, maybe see if I can zoom just a little bit more. All right, good. Yeah, so we'll we'll start down here. So you can see this is nine volts, uh, and those of you that have pedals and all that kind of stuff, you know these little nine volt. Uh, you either use nine volt batteries or you got to buy these little nine volt power blocks. And so that's what's plugged in here. Uh, it's just a nine volt power adapter, and then. So that's the input. This is a output. So you've got nine volts in, nine volts coming out here. And then the cable that I have is just a five, uh, it's a daisy chained power cable that, that will actually run up to five devices. And I've come out underneath here and you can see I've got a nine volt plugged in there. And then I ran the rest kind of under and through here came out these little channels there's little notches in this metal right here so you run the cable out and there's the 9 volt for the tuner and again I don't need anything for the Fishman because it's getting its power th across the XLR cable and then I did a similar thing with the um, quarter inch cables Sorry, kind of got you out of the camera there. Let me slide back down. Uh, I tried to use this channel to my advantage, so I'm coming straight out into these. Uh, the spacing just happened to work out um, for that. And then the same thing for, uh, so all the quarter inch cables, and, and just trying to push as much of that into this channel as possible. So there's my cables for my three-way, the output um, coming from there kind of runs over to the input of the tuner, coming out of the tuner, and I ran that also into the channel and then coming back, and then that one goes over there to the Fishman. So again, just a very simple, basic type setup. This just presses back on here. Um, kind of covers everything up, makes it look nice and neat and clean, and then the thumb screws can go back on. Okay. Maybe pull back out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing there. Just tightening these thumb screws down a little bit. So it's a very simple setup basically carry this in, open it up, plug in three instruments, a power cable and an XLR cable and you're ready to go. Um, so for those of you that have broken down, set up, you know, set up, broken down, all that for shows, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so let me just kind of demo this a little bit. Uh, let's see which angle I think where you are might be the best angle for that uh, I'm gonna grab a guitar 
Let's see. Yeah, let me grab a guitar. So I've got a uh, guitar in my hands here, my Taylor. Let me, you've seen that video before, or that on these videos before. Uh, mainly I did a neck reset on that. So I'm going to take the A cable here and just plug into the guitar. And that camera to me looks like, let me see if I can help with the focus. There we go. Looks like that camera kind of got out of focus for some reason. Hopefully that's better. All right. And let's uh, plug in. And we'll hit A and the tuner, and that should. Let's see, maybe you need to zoom a little bit so you can see the tuner pedal. There it is. So you see the, the tuner is actually working. And so when I'm done with that, I would actually turn that off. And then Signal would be able to continue on over to the, the Fishman. And then on to the soundboard and out through the PA. So that's my basic little setup there. And then once I was done, let me show you that real quick. So show you how the uh, AB switch works so you can see the signal is going to the tuner now if I turn that off no more signal so A is off right now now it's back on now it's off and then that's how you would kind of switch between the guitars so or that's how I do it anyway not the only way to do it it's just how I've decided to set up and do it so just wanted to show you that just wanted to show you that little bit of kit there and uh, let me thank you for joining me it's good to be back uh, doing some videos so let me thank you for watching and uh, the next video I'm gonna do is something that might interest you as well uh, I've got a couple of guitar cases that need some work and so I'm gonna tackle those and again, thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and, and uh, the little bell and get notified when some new videos get put up, And because I'm feeling a lot better and all that, so hopefully I'm going to be able to put uh, some videos out regularly now uh, back on the channel. So I'm going to say bye for now, and I'll see you next time.